guys, welcome back to Shay's Way. Today, I'm showing you guys a day in the life of my quarantine existence. I thought it would be kind of fun because my quarantine is not the same as your quarantine. Everybody has a different quarantine experience. So if you guys want to see what I get up to and you guys maybe get some ideas from it, keep on watching. Because I'm an equestrian and horses count as livestock, I got to go to the barn and see my Rococo. I hadn't seen him in two weeks. One, because I was sick, and then I was also in quarantine because I still had like a cough, so you can't like go out if you have a cough because then you're just gonna infect people, which is rude. But I got to go back to the barn and look at his facial. Oh my God, he's such a hot boy. He was very excited to see me, as you can tell. He was just, he was over the moon about it. Anyway, this is after I rode, so I said bye to him. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to just walk through the barn and give you guys a little scenery because I'm sure you guys haven't been out in a while, so you probably haven't seen the outside world. You probably forgot what a tree looks like. This is for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the outside. Pretend like you smell the air. And look at that, there's a little mud puddle, which I didn't want to step in. So when I was trying to exit the barn, I went the other way because my car was faced that direction. And then I forgot that they closed the gates. So I drove all the way up to it and then realized I'd have to turn all the way back around and go through the other exit. <laughs> it was really fun, especially because it's really, really, really easy to turn around in the car in the tiny little barn aisle. Fudge. Oh, fudgers. I went the wrong way. Uh. Anyway, I made it out alive and well, and then I went to the grocery store. They gave us gloves to protect us, you know, from the virus. And then I have these reusable bags and I got my mom some groceries and myself some little bagel thing, which was made out of sourdough, which was kind of weird. I've never experienced a sourdough bagel. Also, here's a chicken. It was really cute, it was doing chicken things. Anyway, the sourdough bagel was a new experience. I'm not sure how I feel about it quite yet. Don't know if I would get a sourdough bagel again, just because sourdough bagels just don't hit the same. And I didn't have cream cheese, so it just was not vibing. It was a cinnamon sugar bagel, which is fine without cream cheese usually, but because it was sourdough, it was a little sour and cinnamony. I don't know about that. I just, I'm not sure I vibe with it. Because I'm a very good shopper, I made sure that my groceries were seat belted into the car because you can never be too safe. Food is a baby. Food is a child. Protect your food at all costs. When I got home, I decided to tackle the mess that is my bedroom. Yep, you're seeing it right. And I, I counted the bags of laundry I had, and there was 12, 12 bags of laundry. Guys, I got super excited because I found an old Webkins of mine and get this, get this. Wow, a goat again. I found a Webkins code. Oh my Lord, a code. So the thing about Webkins is that it's kind of trending right now and I kind of like got back into it because it's low key, really fun. It's a blast. And so if you don't have a code, you can't really get all the features and I have a code now. So I get the features. So get on my level. Anyway, 
of almost tripping over my bag, I just decided to get started. And I hope you guys enjoy this little time lapse of me doing my laundry. I think it'll be very educational for you guys. I got cold and wanted to change my outfit, so I put on a sweatshirt and sweatpants, and that cute little hat matched. Like, why not? Yeah! My phone was dying, so I decided to charge it, and then I also decided to charge myself and ended up taking probably like a three or four hour nap. So like currently at this time, I'm sitting down on the ground, it's like 8 p.m., and I didn't finish my laundry yet. So... The nap was good. The nap was great. It was very fulfilling. I needed it. For dinner, I decided to have some vegan mac and cheese. It was like vegan chili mac and cheese from Amy's. I was vibing with it for sure. Also, we got more groceries because we got to stock up. And you guys, you don't even know how hard it is to get delivery of groceries. And I got my vegan vodka sauce, but it's not the brand I like. So I will update you guys on whether or not my vegan vodka sauce worked out. Also got vegan mac and cheese from Annie's, which is my favorite vegan mac and cheese. is the only one I like. Everybody else sucks. They taste like feet. Don't ask me how I know f how feet taste like. Don't ask me. I'm not going to answer that question. The vegan mac and cheese was very hot at first, so I had to blow on it, you know, it's kind of steaming. Can you guys see that steam? I'm surprised it didn't fog up my glasses. Normally steam fogs up my glasses. Okay, so I tried it. Wasn't sure about it at first, but then it kind of grew on me and it was kind of good. A little tasty. I give it like a, maybe an 8.5 out of 10. Little disclaimer though, it didn't make me feel good afterwards and I kind of was not feeling the vibes. Then your girl got back to work and she did that laundry. Yes! I got through 12 bags of laundry. Get on my level. Don't even try me. Why do I sound like a goat? Because I am the goat. The greatest of all time. Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. I'm sorry. Anyway, can you believe that though? That's a lot of laundry. Fun fact, didn't finish the undergarments and the socks. So, gonna have to finish that one tomorrow. Anyway, that was it for my day. That's literally it. That's like all that happened today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys like seeing Rocket. I'm gonna try to do more barn vlogs soon. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to ring the bell because you get notified when I post. Today, we are doing TikTok video shoutouts. We're gonna do three because I get so many comments, so I'm gonna do the top three on my recent video. First shout out goes to official underscore maddie.x who's been super active. Second shout out goes to fgp.flips. And then the last shout out goes to period Chloe Tribbett 44. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to be the next video's video shout out, then don't forget to comment on this video or any of my other videos, or you can comment on my Instagram, Shay's Way Official, TikTok, Shayna Scorsese, Twitter, Shay's Way Slays, and Facebook, Shay's Bay. Okay, thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a great day. Okay, bye!